So Beautiful is directed by Alejandro Gonzalez Iñárritu, <laughs> uh, the guy that did Babel and Twenty One Grams. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's got some. He's got some big, big, dark movies to he's his name. He's been around. He's been around. He's been around. Uh, so this is another one. Um, it takes place in Barcelona. I'm pretty sure. They, yeah. They, they mention things every once in a while. <laughs> um, and it's Javier Bardem's character is one of those underground people. You know, he just got dealt that bad deal. So he's living in the slums and just trying to make a living. And, of course, it has to be illegal because yeah. there's no other way for him to get money for his family. So he's kind of a middle guy between the Africans and the Chinese trying to be a father while dying slowly. <laughs> so yeah. Finds out early on that yeah. he has a terminal illness. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Yeah, starting out with him peeing blood, and you're like, oh, he's yeah. in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's one of those, another great movie. Uh, foreign film, so anyone who doesn't like subtitles, you can avoid it. <laughs> I keep recommending this film to Don't people. be afraid of subtitles. Yeah, I recommend this film all the time. They're like, does that have subtitles? I'm like, oh, <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> um, but it's a really solid movie. Um, the story is great. Um, lots of things to keep you interested because there's always something going on. It's not mm -hmm. like one of those long sitting there breathing heavily, staring off into space, kind of the <laughs> Sofia Coppola type of artsy <laughs> movies. You know, he's, he's jumping around, going to the doctors, trying to keep his from getting killed by some random Chinese mafia guy, going, yeah. to, going to home, and his abusive, crazy wife is there. Who is, bipolar disorder. Yeah, they're bipolar and beating the children and stuff. <laughs> really dark and excellent movie. Um, a little... Um, it has got, I mean, it's still kind of a slow movie, kind of lengthy, but yeah. it's totally worth the pace. Like, a lot of movies are like, oh, but this end, but this is you're like, okay, I mean, it's been taking a while, but. Well, there's always something going on. There's always yeah. enough going on that it just, it earns the pace it goes at. Um, really enjoyed it. Uh, it's a lot of surrealness going on in it, which was really fun. You know, he, uh, he's got a, a special family ability to communicate with the dead, which is, kind of interesting it's kind of his side job to get a little extra money and yeah that brings a lot of interesting moments here or there um yeah i was gonna write things i didn't like about it and i couldn't think of any so um wow. but i gave it a b plus um i didn't quite think it was a worthy i, I don't think i would i mean i really enjoyed it but i don't think i was rewatch value yeah i don't yeah. think i was like oh totally gonna buy that so. <laughs> uh well i'm really surprised because all, all throughout watching this i thought chris is gonna hate this movie yeah I because would've... you hate anything that's even the least bit gritty or dark and this is dark yeah. <laughs> this is really dark i maybe wasn't in the right mood for this movie when i watched it but i found it to be quite depressing oh very depressing um <laughs> and i felt that sometimes it was a little too depressing and emotionally manipulative where the character just never gets a, anything goes right for him there's a point in the movie and i won't spoil it because it's kind of a big deal but there's a point that involves um him buying some heaters you know the point yeah. in which i'm talking about that's about what i checked out <laughs> and i said you know what this is getting ridiculous to the point where just anything and everything bad that can happen to this guy is happening. Um, there, it's shot really well. Uh, it's really well acted by Bardem. I believe his his nomination was you know well deserved. Uh, but I felt like the whole time I was watching, I was like, why am why would anyone want to make a movie like this? This is so <laughs> depressing. Like there's nothing. There's no rays of joy anywhere in this. Um, and it, it's a little kind of a, de a bit of a departure for Inuritu, who, you know, with Babel, 21 yeah. Grams, and Amoros Peros, his first foreign film, he's always kind of done these multiple story kind of deals. Yeah. And this is the first one where it is one singular character. Um, but he still sort of tries to incorporate other story elements with these rival gangs yeah. and the sweatshop that he's running and all of this stuff. Um, and there's... I found a lot of what was happening in the periphery more interesting than what was happening with the lead character. Um, but I gave it a C plus. It's really well made, and it's not it's not a bad movie by any means. Uh, it's exactly the movie he wanted to make. I just don't really see the entertainment value in it. 
Uh, but I did like some of the surreal moments, some of the magic realism with him kind of seeing things. There's a, a kind of some nice bookends to the movie, uh, and it, it is just immaculately shot, very well lit. <laughs> so we will move on now.